Hindi pong napapanood ang nagbabagang aksyon natin sa inyo ng NCAA Season 94. Mapua kontra San Sebastian at ito po ang uh, mga nangyari in the first three quarters ng ating laro. Ito, Anton, parehas na plus points dito. Plus 10 sa second quarter ang San Sebastian. Plus 4 naman in the third quarter adding up to their lead to 16. And just controlling this game. Once again, we'd like to thank everybody who are tuned in right now. Anton Rojas, Martin Antonio, Gaito Krishnan, your broadcast team on this Friday for our second game. Second game pa lang po ito. Mamaya, we have EAC versus JRU. And um, earlier, it looked like Hamadou Lamido, because he was standing up, looked like he was going to play, but uh, mukhang uh, hindi maglalaro dahil oh, hindi iba yung shot niya na shorts. Eh. Hindi nakabihes itong si Hamadou Lamido ng panlaro. Actually, naka-basketball shorts siya. Oh. Yun nga lang, hindi, hindi, yung, uniform, eh. hindi yung uniform ng EAC. At maganda makuhaanan din natin niya. Mamaya ng update, of course, before the game starts. If uh, he did suffer a concussion or is, is it just uh, protocol for them? He looks a okay oh. as of right now. Yun ang hirap kasi sa mga concussions, Anton. Eh. You would look okay, but uh, in the long run, dun, dun mo makikita yung uh, effects. Well, very, very particular, spe especially yun dahil uh, collision ng ulo sa lapag. Oo. Oh, Mahirap yun. Mabigat yun nangyari. Ay, uh, Amado Lamino, the big HL. Alright, let's go back to Gabriel Krishnan. Anton and Martin, going into the fourth quarter, alam nyo, pag nandito kayo sa may courtside, eh, mapapansin nyo na si Coach Ato, hindi na siya umuupo dun sa huddle. At pinapaupo niya na lang si Coach Randy Alcantara. Sabi nga sa akin ni Coach Randy, ay kanina pa raw, ay galit na daw, sa, pagpasok pa lang nila sa dugout, ay galit na daw ito si Coach Ato sa kanilang team. Dahil nga daw, yung mga ina-execute daw, na ina-execute daw na game plan, ay hindi daw talaga nila nagagawa. And so, Kahit nga daw, kahit na ano sabihin nga daw ni Coach Atoy sa kanila sa ganitong timeout ay para daw hindi na raw nakikinig sa kanya ang mga players. And so hinayaan niya na daw muna si Coach Randy yung magsalita para sa kanyang kupunan. Dagdag pa ni Coach Atoy, sana man lang daw ay pababain daw nila yung lamang nitong kabilang kupunan dahil daw somehow uh, Anton and Martin mapapaisip ka na nahihiya nga din daw sila Coach sa ganitong scoring. Anton and Martin. Siyempre, Gant, kasama dyan yung pride ng pagiging isang coach, pagiging isang player, pagiging isang student na nag-represent ng Mapua University, one of the most popular schools dito sa Pilipinas, especially when it comes to engineering. Ang, uh, eh, pero of course, Coach Atoy ko, ang uh, inaalala lang naman talaga dyan, as a coach, the number one thing is, does your players give effort? And number two, do they stick to the game plan? Pagka hindi nga na-execute ang game plan, kahit sinong coach, hindi uupo sa Hadel. Madalas masisigawan ka pa. At mabuti na lang at meron silang napakasipag na coach, katulad ni Randy Alcantara, who will be willing to step in kahit na apat ang teams na kanyang hinahawakan. Ano sa mga itanong kay Coach Randy kung natutulog pa siya eh. Napakahirap <laughs> yan. Siyempre, iba-iba pa yung personality ng bawat ko na you're handling a high school team, you're handling uh, two collegiate teams, and then you're handling an amateur semi-pro team. So, yan ang buhay sports para kay Coach Randy Alcantara. Yan ang legit na ball is life. <laughs> Nakita mo, nagtatricep tips pa dun, no? Oh. <laughs> Maganda mga kuhanan natin yan eh. Okay, si Coach Randy nagpapakondisyon eh. Nakaakala ko tayo lang yung masipag mag-workout. Eh, para medyo maganda yung uh, dating ng collared shirt. Nakakita <laughs> mo natin, sayang hindi natin nakakuhanan. Nagdi-dips na to si Coach Randy sa uh, bridge eh. <laughs> yun yung time management. Oh, hindi exactly. makapagpunta sa gym. Ano yung paboritong term ng mga batang yun? Multitasking. Yeah. Yeah. Parang ako sa social media. Ayan, mga mga editing. Pinicture mo na, in-edit mo na. <laughs> Takes you two hours to post one photo eh. Ikaw naman. Masyado ka namang exage. Two, one hour and 59. Ayan. <laughs> De La Cruz. Fake the handoff. Pinaba ang bola dito kay Mike Calisan. And Calisan is able to draw a foul on the rookie. And that's just basic basketball. Face basket, nakababa yung kamay. Idiin mo lang ng bahagya yung balik at magpasabitin mo yung ulo mo. The moment that he brings down his hand, that's an automatic foul. 
Ito, ito, tingnan mo, ha? Ayun, no? Nakakalso yung kamay, eh. Nagiging instinct yan ng player, lalong-lalo na pagka hindi nakakalateral sa agad, humawak. Oh, agawan para sa loose ball. Victoria at RK, or should I say, Arjan de la Cruz. That's Ian Valdez, babalik sa ating laro. As we take a look at this last sequence right here, napakasipag talaga nitong si, si Karandang, the length, six foot four. Nakita mo yung basketball basics niya eh. Help side, nando doon lang siya sa driving lane, putting a hand there, just trying to poke the ball out, and pagka ikot na ito ni Arjan De La Cruz, nando doon na siya to help. Isa pang masipag doon si Warren Bonifacio, running the floor, getting a catch and a finish. Kapobres. Aatake. Kapobres smothered by Karandak. That's good defense by John Karandak. And in about, we're, not, we're, we're just raving about this guy. He knows how to play. Nakikita mo basics yung ginagawa niya. And that's what you want to see pag nabibigyan ng pagkakataon itong younger guys to really put in the work. At mananatili ang bola dito sa panic ng Papua. Na meron pa magandang Eurostep doon si Karandang. Hindi lang na-finish yung flip shot. Victoria. His team staring at a 16-point lead. At ito, ito, total fouls natin combined for both teams, 41 fouls. Napakarami niyan. Iindahin mo rin yan eh. Pag kahit ikaw yung pumafoul, mararamdaman mo din minsan eh. R.K. Ilagan. Kapobres, pinigay dito kay Kalisan. Kalisan, hop step on the inside. Kalisan will head back to the free throw line. Ano lang, veteran na lang eh. Shrewd moves na lang eh. Haba nung second step ni Michael Kalisaan. Pinasabi talaga, naka-arm bar dito si Warren Panifano. Check that, that was a handshake. First free throw is good for Michael Kalisaan. See, what do you call him? The salutatorian? Oh, JP Magulliano. Because he's a salutatorian. You know me, I like, uh, I like the student athletes who put the, the being a student first. Victoria. Bonifacio, he's here to Bautista. Victoria contra Ilagan. Victoria. Bonifacio. Aguirre with a fake. Aguirre with a shot. Daniel Aguirre. Short on that jumper. Capobres. Atake. Capobres is blocked. 18 seconds on the shot. Linis sa taas para kay uh, Aguirre. Kapobres. Kalisan, titira ng tres. Michael Kalisan joins the three-point party. Ngayon yung nadagdag sa kanyang uh, offensive arsenal before baseline to baseline lang nga siya. Ngayon extend na niya even to the corners and to the elbows ng three-point area natin. Yan ang pangwalong three-pointer ni Michael Kalisan dito sa season 94 ng NCAA. Sa low wing pa niya nakuha. Stroking it and making it. At may kasama pang follow through yun bago siya bumalik. Papunta... Post that follow through. Ng mapu, ah. Post that gooseneck, <laughs> young man. A 
Alvin Copobres making a breather as we still have six minutes and four seconds remaining. Dito sa fourth quarter. Aguirre, pasok ang pakalawang free throw. Kalisan contra Bonifacio. Kalisan binigay kay RK Ilagan for three. Nothing but net para kay RK Ilagan. Uh, yep, that's officially his fourth three-point shot. The RK entering 20 points. That's the RK. And here's number five. If ever it goes in, it doesn't. And here comes Victoria. Victoria, Lena Basambola. Corner triple does not drop. Michael Kalisan on the run. Kalisan in and out dribble. Kalisan nilalabas po na bola kay RK. RK. Oh! Ho, ho! RK Ilagan with a crossover and the pull up for three. And over the outstretched arms of the defender against the much taller uh, Justin Serrano. Michael Kalisan kicking it out to RK Ilagan. Huling huli sa ating Vivo V11. Perfect shot. At pagkatapos nun, panoorin natin to. RK Ilagan, crossover, pull up. Just like a shotgun. Back to back threes. Serrano shoots over Kalisan. And Villepando comes up with the rebound. Valdez, there's that familiar seal again. Mula kay Michael Kalisan. Kalisan. Villa Pando. Mula sa kanto, masyadong malakas. Victoria. Aatake. Victoria. And Victoria is fouled as he was on the way down. That's a bailout foul right there. At the uh, season high, me RK Ilagan, 23 points, 5 out of 7 from 3s. At tumawag po na ng timeout si Coach Atoy Ko. So it's not just the clothes, it's also the hair. Look how shiny her hair is. Hair is a very sensitive topic when it comes to me. <laughs> Pero Anton, hindi lang itong mga fans natin, uh, mga kababayan na nag-e-enjoy ngayon. Hmm. Yung ating YouTube um, uh, streaming, ang okay. dami nanonood, mga kaibigan natin, all the way from the Abu Dhabi Police Department. Wow. Alumni ng University of Perpetual Health, Bojo Hader, and all the firefighters there, policemen. Yung mga Pinoy nanonood sa atin right now. And of course, Tita Bebs Bear, Papi Carl Bear, at si Kuya Kim na nanonood sa atin all the way from Tagig naman. Watching the NCA, enjoying the action. Supporters sila ng University of Perpetual Health din. At ito na nga, naitabla ni RK Laga ng kanyang career high, 23 points. RK initially had his career high September 19. Last season, contra sa Perpetual, that was an 80-60 to 60 win by Baste. So yun yung uh, first time na naka-23 points si RK. And he ties that today. Samantala, Victoria is able to drive on the inside and score. At ito si Victoria as the season progressed. Nakikita natin na mas nagiging pino yung galaw niya. Mas nagiging quality yung mga tira na nakukuha niya. Kalisan. Sumoda. Oh, what a play. What a play by San Sebastian. And how about that fast by Big Smooth? Suave. And look at this 1-2-2 -two -two defense, Coach Hammer. Oh, shift sila ngayon sa zone. Dahil medyo malaki na ang kanilang lamang at 16 points. Almost a steal by RK. Victoria. Karandang will test his jumper. Oh, what a block by Villapanto. Pero may foul na tinawag as Salenga went up for that shot. Mali pala ako, Anton. Sorry, check that. That's 26 points yung lamang nila. I thought it was 71-55. It's 81-55. 
And up top, malinis yung shot block, pero nagkaroon ng contact. Medyo tumulak pa nga si Jasper Salenga. Pero binigay yung foul. O Salenga missing on the second free throw. Babalik ang bola sa San Sebastian. Kalisan. Hands it off to RK. RK Ilagan. Ibabalik ang bola kay Michael. Michael. Villapando. Inhanap si RK. RK from way out! A new career high for RK Ilagan! Bakit hindi? 26 puntos para dito kay RK Ilagan. Sasabi mo, Anton, new career high for him. Good percentages to open looks and even the challenge once pumapasok. Kasi dalawa na ang inspiration nitong si RK Ilagan. Hindi lamang si Steph Curry, pati si Trey Young. Na halos dun din tumitira ng tres. Nakita mo ba yung game winner niya? Oo. <laughs> Relax lang. Cruise control lang. Cruise control. Cruise control. Nakita mo yun yung pagkapitaw ni Trey Young? I got this. Yun yung... Ah, ganda rin. Exciting. Very exciting itong uh, NBA season. Pero sisipatin muna natin. So, hindi na to Steph Curry range. Trey Young range na rin. A new career high for RK Ilagan. Ang pabato ng Barrio Fogoso, Tondo, Manila. Victoria. Bautista, airball. Namamaga na itong lamang, 28. Michael Kalisan. Kalisan on the drive, just unable to finish. Babalik ang bola sa Mapua. Victoria, Bautista! Jesper Bautista. Uh, Jesper Bautista getting a basket there on the fast break. Getting extended playing time. See, RK Coach Hammer, six out of nine from the three point line. At kanina na ikwento sa akin ni Coach Egay Makaraya na naka record 14 triples daw siya nung PABL. How do you make 14 triples in a game? Uh, you shoot more than 14. <laughs> Definitely. Definitely, and the coach Egay has been known as a scorer during his college years. And uh, hala nila may timeout. Ganda nung galaw ni uh, Jesse Sumoda using that left hand. Victoria, Bautista, Exi, ibabalik ang Bautista. Victoria, hopping inside. Exi biteng for three. And Victoria comes up with the rebound. Exi biteng, short jumper. Wala pa rin. Submission for San Sebastian. Jericho Isidro for RK Ilagan. Coach Atoy Ko. The MVP of the NCAA back in season 48. So if you want to find out what year season 48 is, aba, eh, do the math. And what a game for RK Ilagan. 26 points, 6 out of 9 from the 3-point line to go along with 6 rebounds. Foul number 14, Jesse Sumona. Penalty, that's the 4th foul of Jesse Sumona. Now, to sa agawan sa bola, ito, na off that offensive rebound. Tinamahan pa itong si uh, Jericho Isidro. Kakapasok lang, nagulat din siya eh. At nakakuha ng foul si Warren Bonifacio. Two free throws for Warren Bonifacio. First free throw is good for Warren Bonifacio who has a 13-13 and 13 game. 13 points, 13 rebounds, Coach Hammer. Man of the moment, RK Ilaga, new career high, 67% from three. Well deserved para kay RK Ilagan. 
sinabi mo nga, he, he worked very hard to, to bulk up during the off-season. Parang si Lonzo Ball, na gain ng 20 pounds. Sana naayos din yung jump shot. <laughs> yan, yan, yan. <laughs> Bautista. Oh, Bautista, makakaputos pa para sa Mapua. Good finish there. Hinapol ni Ken Villapando. But somehow, some way, Bautista making a basket. And off that stop, great help by Bautista. He's taking it strong. Ito na yung mga pagkakataon eh. Towards the end of the season, teams that are not in contention for the Final Four, the players that were seldomly used, katulad na lamang ni Bautista, eh bibigyan na ng chance ah, ng mga coaches nila, katulad ni Coach Atoy ko. And Bautista and Karandang making the most out of the opportunity. And we are just moments away from San Sebastian officially improving their record to 5 and 12. San Sebastian actually could have been, could have had seven wins already by now because uh, they actually won six games on the court this season. Make that seven after right now. Pero yun nga, yung dalawang panalo nila, the forfeit. Kaya ito ang ating final score here in the second round matchup sa pagitan ng Mapua at Paste, 86. Para sa mga Sebastino, 64. Para sa Mapuans. Uh, great, great defense by uh, San Sebastian. Yun yung nagdala sa kanila sa panalo. And overall toughness and uh, shot making para sa kanila. So, yan po ang ating uh, huling talaan. 86, 64, San Sebastian beats Mapua. And now both teams have identical 5 and 12 win loss cards. We'll be back. Uh, Diyan po nagtatapos ang ating pangalawang laro on this Friday. San Sebastian na naik kontra sa Mapua 86 to 64. At syempre ang ating chair for BGM tangkad sa God score of the game. Walang iba kundi ang pambato ng Mario Fugoso. Tondo Manila, RK Inangan. At hindi lang uh, Barrio Pagoso, Patinara, Paseco, Parola, Franz Barona, Tondo. Nagsiselebrate especially yung mga anak ng Tondo pag magaganda ang laro. Bakit hindi? Career high para dito kay RK Ilagan. Inspirasyon ni RK ang kanyang tatay, si Tatay Edwin. At uh, kasama rin siya sa Stadlets at Junior NBA Program bago naging San Sebastian Stag sa kolehiyo. So a great game for RK Lagan. A career high 26 points. The Big HL Hamadu Lamino and Jagars in the house. As the EAC Generals will take on Jose Rizal University. Taming pagbabalik dito sa season 94. At siyempre hindi papatalo sina MJ De La Virgen, sina Darius Estrella and the rest of the Heavy Bombers. Abangan yan. For Director Raul Del Campo, Gainel Krishnan, my partner Coach Hammer, Martin, Antonio, and all of us from ABS CBN Sports, I'm Anton Rossing. Thank you so much for watching. Pero wag po kayong alis dahil susunod na ang laban sa pagitan ng EAC at JRU dito sa Season 94 ng NCAA.